Hey there, it's Jody Seeley with Our High River as we continue along our coverage to find out a little bit more about those who are vying for positions with council and mayor with the town of High River. And today we are joined by Michael Nychuk, who is hoping to get re-elected into the council position. Michael, I know it's a busy time, but we appreciate you catching up with us today. How are you? Very good, thank you. Um, I appreciate the time. Uh, it's, yeah, everybody's really busy all the time nowadays, so it's uh, it's nice to connect and uh, yeah, hopefully provide people some more information on all of us that are uh, putting our hand up to represent the community. So thank you for uh, to you and Caitlin for all the work that you're doing to put this together. Well, we got lots of feedback that people just wanted a, a place where they could find out some more. So we thought we'd throw a few questions your way today and give people an opportunity to learn a little bit more. So let's start out with, in case we've got new people in the community or someone who hasn't had the opportunity to meet you, tell us a little bit about yourself and why you decided to run for re-election for council. All right. Well, a, a little a little bit about myself. I'm uh, a husband, a parent to two uh, young men in town. Um, I uh, run Highwood Distillers as uh, my my other job, I guess, currently right now as I sit on council. Um, I've been here since 2001, so um, somewhat of a longer standing resident in High River. Um, in 2013, we had a, a little bit of a water event, um, and at that time, I stuck my hand up to help in the community and got uh, put onto a couple of council committees. So worked with council, not on council, but worked on a couple of committees. Um, and then in 16, we had a by-election and put my hand up to run, and I've been on council since 2016. So um, looking to continue serving the community. I mean, simply, it's my way of giving back. Um, that can sound cheesy and cliche, but um, that's the fantastic part of our community is the people. Um, we've always said that as current council and, and people like you and many, many, many others have said it's the people here and I believe it and I, I want to contribute to that. And I think I have the experience and now the, the experience from previous um, commitments, business and whatnot, and now my experience on council to to add to that fabric and uh, bring the community along together. Well, and we know there's a lot of moving parts to what's happening in our world and what's happening in our community. And we thought we'd try to streamline the thought process just a little bit in the next question in having you focus on what you feel are the top three priorities. Should you get into reelection and continue to serve on council, what do those top three priorities look like for you? And how do you see the ball getting started to roll with that? Well, I, I'm, I'm going to go with what we've we've focused on, I mean, as a council and, and uh, not not to fall back on that, but my belief is these are important priorities as we sit right now. Um, and I know one of these is, is coming up in a question later, but finalizing our, our water strategy and our water agreement with the county is very important, criti critically important going forward. Um, that is near the end of, of, of the work that needs to be completed. So we're, we're very close on closing that out. Um, following that, we have our town plan uh, that we're going to be working on. Um, I hope to be part of that, um, you know, if the public deems me fit to, to, to keep representing the people. That town plan is our vision for the future. That's the long range. What do we as a community want High River to be? Um, and how we help implement that is, again, coming together as a community. So the current council and hopefully the next council coming in uh, will, will deem a community-based committee that will help council with that plan going forward. So uh, the current council talked about putting a, a committee together to be that conduit with the rest of everybody else, uh, whether resident or business person here, and help us formulate that vision going forward. Um, ultimately, council that's elected will put something like that in place, um, but it's up to all of us to create that vision. So that one's critically important. Um, that town plan is something I'm really excited to work on um, if re-elected. Um, a, a couple others, uh, amenities in the community. Right now we're talking about the pool. Um, looking beyond that, we've got the uh, mini putt that we're converting right now that's that's coming uh, uh, to completion with a sports court. Uh, the pump track that uh, council yesterday just um, provided some funding for it so they can get to their completion. 
Uh, those types of amenities and services for residents are critically important for us going forward to, to grow the community in a lot of ways, uh, grow the community from an economic development perspective, grow it from a community cohesion perspective where we can all live, work, that old adage of live, work and play together. Um, those things are really important. So amenities are another one that, uh, that I look at working on. Um, and that's a couple of different pieces and a couple of different ways that we'll get there. So. That's awesome. Thank you. Well, one of the things that was a concern for citizens who gave us feedback was what transparency looks like and respect and keeping things from our politics on a local level. And a lot of that falls into what's called the AUMA Local Democracy Pledge. And you're probably familiar with this having served on council already, but just curious on what your thoughts on that pledge are and is it something you would re-sign to being a part of if you're reelected. Done and signed already, Jody. Um, yeah. It's there. I, I, I did have it. I did post it. It's out there. It's, it's um, an honesty, integrity, and, and, and commitment piece on an elected member. Um, absolutely. We represent the people and we need to be able to do that honestly and openly. Um, and it just, it's a piece that needs to be there. So I have, I have no problem following it prescribing to it, promoting it. Uh, it's a key piece uh, so that the people know that uh, the elected officials that are representing them um, have those uh, qualities behind them. Yeah. Perfect. And then our last question for you, which you kind of alluded to earlier, was just your thoughts on that current number one strategic priority of long-term water strategy for High River. What's your thoughts on there? It's, it's a huge piece for High River going forward. Obviously, we have um, a water system and wastewater system that's in place. We have access to water that's granted to us by the provincial government. Um, and protecting that water source for ourselves is priority number one. Now, in that comes in shared surface agreements like we have with the county. Um, being a good neighbor is also critically important, right? Uh, but somewhat selfishly we have to manage that for us first and then look at what can we provide to other communities if at all um, in this case we've got a a new agreement that's in place that the county is reviewing right now um, that answers that call for support um, and we'll see you know what comments or or concerns they might come back with but i'm 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 pretty confident that administration has put together something that the county and, and uh, the town of High River will continue to work uh, jointly on and, and use that resource to the best of both uh, communities' uh, abilities. So, um, but, but ultimately, it's protecting that water source for us, for High River, not just for today, but um, I've often talked about the future and, and we make decisions for today, uh, but we make decisions more so for where we position ourselves for the future in my opinion. Um, I look past my own kids' longevity. I look to that potential of, if, if I'm so fortunate, grandkids or great grandkids in the future, that, that we have a community that is strong and has had some good foundation to continue to move forward on. So um, obviously water is a critical piece globally, uh, but we need to manage it locally here first and, and be somewhat selfish in that regard, but also kind and caring to our neighbors as well. Awesome. Thank you for that. Well, Michael, we know that we have advanced polls this weekend happening for the next few days at the Bob Snodgrass Election Day coming up on Monday. Uh, just a reminder again, it's at the Bob Snodgrass Recreation Complex this year. Uh, please go and cast your votes. Michael, if there's any questions anybody has or they want to connect with you about anything between now and when they cast their ballot, what is the best way to do that? Really simply, I'd be happy to uh, to grab it by a phone call. I can give you email addresses or social addresses, but 403-603-8239. If I don't pick it up, leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right. Well, we appreciate your time uh, during what I've been referring to as crunch time over the next few days. So thank you for taking some time to chat with us and best of luck to you in this election. Thanks, Jody. I appreciate your time. Take good care.